Wow, once again, the flea market is completely packed. Pretty much every single row of parking is completely full. Let's get out and take a look. All right, I've only been walking around the flea market for like 10 minutes. I already found some box Nintendo games, Xevious Hoops, Kings of the Beach, and then I got, oh, and uh, Taboo, The Sixth Sense. Also down there, I got Sega CD, Chris Rock, or <laughs> Chris Rock, Chuck Rock, and Chris Cross, and then I got Berenstain Bears for a dollar. My brother's looking for a, for one of these. He's looking for some nice chess sets. <laughs> Sports. Yeah, I'll snap a picture of him for him. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. These are all done by hand. Takes about a month to do a set. How much are they? Three fifty. Okay. Yeah, I like the Star Wars one. Civil War? The Star Wars one. They're tough to come by. They made those when that movie first came out. Yeah. Every time they would release a movie, Hasbro made a chess set. So now you gotta try and find them on the internet. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you been? Not too bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 real well. Yeah, I found something. Yeah, I haven't seen you out here in a long time. Yeah, I just came out later in the year. I really don't have any video stuff anymore. Yeah. But I brought this out just in case I ran into you. Oh, what's that? There's instructions today. Oh, awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, I'll get a, kick out of, get a kick out of that. Yeah, instead of me just pressing buttons and kind of, you know, guessing through it. Cool. Yeah, appreciate it, man. No problem. Yeah, you all out of games and stuff yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's this one here? What's this that? golf one? Yeah, it's a ticket, man. Golf. Big game. Front nine in the back now. And it's a dice game. You use this man like a line up this shot. It. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Get this way. And this comes on here, then the winner takes you either left or right. You roll the dice, bam. Little grease marker. 
catch your ball and you just come down. Oh, uh, yeah, get from there again? Yeah. And once you get on the green, there's you just roll, you know, wherever you're at, there's different contours on the green, one, two, three, four, and then wherever you land, you're just rolling to give you how many putts you have. Yeah. How much you want for that? Well, I have 10 on it. All right. Yeah, I think my dad might like that. It's, it's, a, it's a good game. It's a classic game, actually. Yeah, that was the guy that I bought the uh, Z64 off of. The backup, Dr. Backup Z64 for the Nintendo 64 that I did a review on. So basically, uh, I was talking to him before and he sold it to me. And I guess he found the instructions and I got the instructions for it. Should be able to uh, work with the thing a little bit better, but uh, cool of him to remember that. All right, so here's all the stuff that I picked up up here. The first thing, I bought this doctor's doctor backup Z64 like, man, months ago, probably last summer. And the guy hooked me up with a really good deal on it. And then I've been buying Atari games. I got some box Nintendo games from him. And I always talk to him when he's up here. He hasn't been up here in forever. But he brought this instruction manual up for the Dr. Z64. Because he told me he had it and he didn't really have a use for it. So he's waiting for me to come up to give it, give it to me. So pretty cool on that. He just gave me that for free. Next things that I got. The first thing is this uh, Star Wars Trilogy soundtrack. It's a four disc CD set. And I love the Star Wars music, so great to have it on disc. I checked all the CDs, and they're like brand new condition. Also got Berenstein Bears complete for the Genesis for a dollar. Didn't have that one in my collection. I remember watching that show, but game's probably not going to be that good. Next two I got. First one is Criss Cross on the Sega CD. Got that for uh, four dollars. And then the next one is Chuck Rock. Which I've never actually played, so on the Sega CD. I'm not sure if it'll be good. I've always heard of it. And then the last things that I got were some box Nintendo games. Taboo, the Sixth Sense. It's got some stickers on the front, but hopefully they'll come off. Xevious. Hoops. And Kings of the Beach in the box. So, not too bad for all of this. I think I spent, let's see... Total for the four Nintendo games and the two Sega CD games, I think I spent uh, twenty dollars, and then I spent a dollar on the Berenstein Bears, and five for the Star Wars soundtrack. So, not too bad. Twenty six bucks for that. Got my manual here, and I was kind of disappointed. I was walking around. I only brought, I must have had like thirty one dollars because I only had five dollars left after all this stuff. And I was walking around the flea market, and I figured. You know, I'll walk around, see what they have, and I ran into a boxed, old, like, uh, almost like a Pong clone. It's called Pinball Breakaway, and it was complete in the box, and the guy wanted eight bucks for it, and I only had five dollars cash left, so I figured I'd walk around, see if I ha found anything for five bucks, and come back. And I figured when I came back, he had already sold it. I asked him, he said he got ten for it, so I don't even know if he would have gone for the five dollars on it, but, um... You know, I was looking forward to getting that, but didn't end up getting it. So this is all I have for today, but not too bad. Glad to get some more box Nintendo games in my collection. So, hope you enjoyed watching me walk around the flea market. I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.